What is your name? My name's Aaron Seth Perry. What is your age? I'm um, 41. Where do you live? Uh, United States. What is your address? Uh, I don't remember it. It's a new address. I just don't have it. When, don't did, have you, memory. when did you enter the army? Um, uh, 1996. What have been your tactical training? Uh, it was infantry. Where and when did you meet Jordan Boudreau? Um, I don't exactly remember when. He uh, was in the army at some point. What was the job proposal for Jordan? Um, to come here for um, to come to Venezuela and provide support. When did you fly from U.S. to Colombia? Um, January, I think. Who accompanied you? Um, Jordan, uh, Luke, and um, what I learned to be a person named, by the name of Alex. How did you move to Rio Ajo? Um, with a car. Who accompanied you? Um, Luke and this Alex person. Who reset you? Who what? Reset you? Oh, um, the um, Sakea, I would assume, that's what she knew. How much would Jordan f pay for the job? I don't exactly know. How much do you spend? I don't know. It's uh, it was only supposed to be for two weeks, so. What well, this is a training uh, you teach? Um, it's more of uh, reviewing what they already know um, and what uh, how to um, go about it. Uh, working in a building and basic uh, clearing the street. How many times did you visit Colombia? Uh, it was only one time. How many times did you visit Venezuela? Once. Where did you stay in Rio Hacha? Uh, uh, a house. To receive you in the Alta Guajira, in the border. I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't um, part of that. Who? Did you know about a document that described the close of your of the operation? Yes, I think so. Did you see the tactical uniforms in the camp? At some point, we've seen staff for uniforms, yes. Where do you live in Rio Hacha? Um, in a few houses. Three houses. So. Who, who commanded in Rio Hacha? Uh, Leon or Sakina. Leon you know was uh, the nickname. I, I don't know which. What's the nickname? What's the name? How many people did you train? Um, from what I understand, it's approximately fifty to sixty people. What What is the Silver Corp company in chair of? It's a private corporation um, owned by Jordan Boudreau. And that's about all I understand about that. What will be your mission after entering Caracas? Um, to advise the um, forces that were coming in um, when they need us and make our way to the airport as soon as we could. 
why the U.S. government insists on attacking the government of Venezuela if Venezuela doesn't not represent a threat to them? I don't understand why America would do that. How much will Jordan pay you for the operation? I don't have any uh, specific dollar sign or dollar amount to, to tell you. Did you have contact with a special agent of the DEA in Caracas? Me, no. How many people make up Silver Club? As far as I know, it's just Jordan. I haven't met anyone else other than myself and Luke. If someone tried to, to enter the U.S. with the intention of eliminating Donald Trump, what do you think would be the response of the U.S. government in this case? Yeah, they would definitely um, protect the president. What were the objectives of the mission? Um, I believe it was to um, um, obtain specific uh, targets and um, to, I think, get Maduro. Are you aware of the other Silver Corp training camps? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. Are you aware that Juan Guaido, in the end, that contract added legally and that is a crime to sponsor insurgency, insurgency actions against the people of Venezuela? I understand that's what you're saying, yes. I understand that's what you're saying, yes. Would you accompany Luke to take the airport or will he go to another objective once they took Caracas? Uh, as far as I know, Luke and I were to be at the airport to bring in more. Are there other American soldiers advising these groups? Not that I'm aware of, no. Why do uh, you train irregular forces in Colombia to enter Venezuela knowing that it is illegal? I know that it's illegal now. Um, before, it was um, a different understanding for me. Being in the Alta Guajira, could you see a man in a wheelchair? Uh, yes. Do you talk with him? I did not talk with him, no. Who, who talked with the uh, uh, man in the, in the wheelchair? Secure. Secure. Have your human rights been respected in the place where you are confident? Uh, yes, as far as, as far as I've experienced, yes. This contract was posted uh, several days ago by Jordan Goudreau. It outlines my responsibilities with Silver Corps, uh, signed by Juan Guaido, Jordan Goudreau, and uh, Juan Rendon. How many times have you been on commission outside the U.S.? Uh, three times. In which countries? Uh, Iraq. In what years? Uh, for how long did you serve? Um, for 2003, uh, 2005, 2007, and for a year. Are you being buried? Yes. Why did you decide to enter Venezuela by sea and not by land? It seemed to be the preferred choice. Did you belong to Group 10 of U.S. Special Forces? Uh, yes. Mike Pompeo spoke about your arrest. What do you think about that? I'm not aware of that. 
Silvercore Outcome in Brazil? No. Have you given tactical training in Brazil or other Latin American countries for Venezuela intervene? No. What were the target of the operation? Um, the target they got was Jasim, uh, Sabine, uh, Mira Flores, and the airport's Tar Jacetta. How did you get the data to draw the plans? Now, based on information from the the group. What will, what will be your objective at the at La Carlota Air, Air Race? At La Carlota Air Race would be to uh, secure the airstrip. In your class, they mention a uh, BN4 vehicle. Be the uh, be responsible for it. Um, that information was known by Sakia. Where will, will the aircraft that will carry out the extraction of President Maduro come from, and what will be its destination? I would assume that it is the United States. They carry out the extraction of President Maduro from Miraflores. I'm not exactly sure how necessary. How is the process for the army to assign you as a commission in another country? Uh, can you repeat the question? How is the, the process for the army to assign you? has a commission in a rare country. I don't understand how to answer that. How is the process for the army to assign you as a commission in a rare country? They inform you and you go and perform your service. When the last time you used the military uniform of your country? Um, 2012. What is your social security number? 459-591794. Do you recognize the name Kassen Soleimani? Mm, somehow, yes. Why did they decide to attack on my uh, one first, I, first mate? I have no idea. Have you been in Syria? Uh, no. Who was the president of U.S. during your service? Um, Clinton. Bush. Obama. Who would be in charge of coordinating the planes? Uh, I would be in charge of calling back to Jordan, and Jordan would make those coordinations or has made those coordinations with someone in the United States. And then we would bring that plane or expect waiting for that plane to arrive and then in country. How much will Silver Corp take to achieve the objectives of the so called Operation Guillaume? Um, the only number I know of is what I've seen in the contracts um, that you showed here. Uh, it's uh, like 220 million or something like that. How much money will Jordan earn if the operation was successful? Uh, I'm not sure exactly. This is a corporation. I'm not sure how what his share is or how that works. I would assume it's possibly millions. 
much do you think Silvercore will pay you if the operation was successful? Um, I don't have a specific number uh, right now that I can talk about or even aware of. Uh, I would sell the money would be good and uh, trusted him on that and that's, that's all I know.